guys, what is going on? It's Cerno here from The Worthy Games, and today I'm bringing you guys a pretty interesting video, aside from all the past update videos in the last week. So basically, by the title, you guys can tell that today I'm going to be teaching you a pretty exciting topic, and that's how to hack Clash of Clans. So, today I want to show you guys why most other Clash of Clans hacks won't work, and why this hack sometimes works and sometimes doesn't work. This hack is great for experimenting, um, you will get 999,000 gems, but it's going to be in offline mode. But trust me, you want to stick around for this hack and you want to try it out for yourself because this hack, after you do it, you can totally max out every single thing in offline mode and it's just awesome. Honestly, I love this hack and I love how it works. So, just some background information. Um, personally, you know, Clash of Clans is really, really hard to hack, first of all, mostly because it's all on an online server, it's all based off of a server. So whatever you do, if you change any code in Clash of Clans, what's going to happen is once you go back on it, it's not going to sync up. And that's what probably most people are getting. There's, it's going to say on their screen, errors, client server error, and that's what that means. It's not syncing up with the server on the cloud or whatever it is. So that's one thing. And the other thing is most people, you know, they, they go on the internet and type in, oh, how do I have Clash of Clans on Google? And, you know, you're really deceived by... Uh, the number of stupid download things that there are online. None of these download things work. You know, you download on your computer and you say, you know, take this survey. All the surveys are BS. I tried it before. It was one of the stupidest things. I literally sat there for like two hours trying to figure out how to do this dang survey. Finally, I got it. After I finished the survey, I got the download link, opened the download link, and wow, I get trolled, really. I get bikini pictures instead of a damn Clash of Clans hack. So yeah, surveys are total BS, but on with this Clash of Clans hack that I'm going to show you guys today. There are pros and cons to this thing. I mean, first, you have to have a jailbroken device. Um, if you guys haven't already seen how to jailbreak your device, then go into the... Uh, my, I actually have a video on It's called How to Jailbreak Your Device. I, any iDevice, actually, off of Evasion. So that works. You can jailbreak it right now from 6.0, actually, to 6.1.2. So all those work. And um, what's going to happen is you need an application from Cydia and it's called iFile. So what we're going to do in iFile is we're going to go into it and we're going to change some code around in it, but the right code. Because before, when people were changing around code, it really wouldn't work. So this time, we're going to go into uh, iFile and we're going to go into the achievements section and we're going to see, go to gold grab. <coughs> Excuse me. And in gold grab, what we're going to do is we're going to change it so that we get three stars when we get a thousand gold. And when we get a thousand gold, we're gonna get a reward of nine hundred ninety-nine thousand gems. So we're gonna click on it. We're gonna get a notification. And we're gonna click on it, and we're gonna instantly get that. Okay. So now that we're done really explaining that, let's check out how to do this hack. Okay. So I'm just gonna go out of Clash of Clans now. And okay, the first thing you want to do after you're out of Clash of Clans, you want to open your multitask bar, and you want to close. That's the first step. You want to close. Clash of Clans because it can't be open when you're actually changing the files in iFile. Next, you want to go into Cydia. After you go into Cydia, just type in iFile, download that really quickly, and um, you can get the app right here. This is iFile right here in the middle between Clash of Clans and Cydia. There you go. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on it, and it's directly going to take me into the home page. It's going to have applications, documents, library, media, etc. And what we want to actually click on first is applications. And then next, you know, weirdly for my iPad, I don't know, it just has a bunch of coded letters and numbers. Um, actually, each row of these represents an individual app. So watch, if I click on this one, it's like eBay or something. And then if I click on another one, it's going to be Ski Safari. So that's how, if, it, if yours is like this, actually, you can identify it by actually clicking on it. But luckily for me, I know that the fourth one actually is Clash of Clans. So I'm going to go into Clash of Clans, the application. And then I'm going to click on Clash of Clans app on the top. After that, I'm going to go into RES, the fourth one down. After that, I'm going to go into the first one up, CESV. And then now we're presented with a bunch of different, you know, documents that are here. We have alliances, portals, achievements, credits. And remember, we wanted to go into the achievements one. So what we're going to do is we're going to press this blue arrow on the back right over here, on the far right. And um, what's going to happen is we have to click open with, okay? And we're going to click with text viewer so we can immediately edit the text. So text viewer right here, as you can see. 
So I'm opening it with Text Viewer, and in the top left we can hit Edit or Cancel, and top right we can hit Done or Save. So remember, we were aiming for changing the text on the gold. We were trying to change the text on the gold grab. So um, let's look for that one. It should be right over here. So it should be, yeah, right here. Tid Achievement, Loot Gold, Title. And if you could see, there are three rows of that right here. Three rows. And right here it says like 2,000, 10 million, whatever, whatever it is. And I don't really care about the values right now. What I want to do, and be very careful with this, you see all these values right here? All these, the 1,000, 1 billion, whatever, 20, write all those down so you can, you know, if you want to revert back to the original setting, you can change it back, okay? So write all those down first in the order they come, and then do what I'm about to say to you guys to do. Do this. Go into the first one, okay? And I'm going to remove zeros until I get to 1,000. So right now I have 1,000 with three zeros at the end for the first entity, right? After the word gold... You're going to skip the 1,000, and you're going to go into 20. And you're going to erase the 20, and you're going to type in 9 eights, okay? Or you're going to type in 8 nines, okay? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, okay? So it's 8 nines. And um, after that, you're just going to hit done, and simply we're going to hit save, and that's it. So remember, change the whatever it is, like 1 billion to 1,000, and change the 20 to nine nines or whatever it is or whatever it says on yours do that okay just do that change and make sure it's done and after that hit done and save in the top right and that's it for that right now we're just gonna go off of this app we're going to go in the multitask bar again we're going to take it away and then hit the Clash of Clans app up and what I should actually be seeing in the corner when I get to the main screen is I should be seeing the uh, notification that I got an achievement. So if I do, it's basically going to lead to the fact that it worked, and that's going to be awesome. So another thing that's actually awesome is the background for this. I like the new update, actually. The troops and everything look really cool. But uh, wait for this to load, and it's loaded. Okay, cool. So we got the notification right here. We're going to go into it, and the achievement was unlocked. Okay, claim reward. We can do that right now, okay? But what if we actually do it, then it's going to say client server error, like I mentioned before. We don't want that to happen. So what we got to do is we got to do this little trick to get around it, and we're going to say go offline. So in order to actually go offline, we have to go off of Clash of Clans. We have to open the settings. We have to go into airplane mode and then come back on Clash of Clans really quickly. It's a really nice sequence. So watch. I'm going to go off. I'm going to go into settings. I'm going to turn on airplane mode right here. I'm going to go off the settings. Gonna go back into Clash of Clans and we're still running. So, back in the Clash of Clans, we can easily go into the achievements menu and we can hit claim reward and nothing's gonna happen except we're just gonna get a bunch of gems. So, there we go. We've got all the gems right there. So baller, so nice, so raw too. And uh, basically, we can do anything we want with the gems. We can go into the town hall, we can click here, update town hall, 300, yep, got it all. And we can actually finish it too. And the main purpose I like this is because we can know what our next upgrade is going to look like. That's the main reason I like to do this. Uh, I can just figure out, you know, what the next upgrade is going to be. And eventually, actually, this hack, like, it will run out of time. You know, you will run out of um, whatever it's called. The connection will be lost at some point. But right now, um, because you're not technically even online, you're just playing offline. But, you know, it won't stay forever, and... The bitter truth is, when you go back online, um, this hack, you know, everything's going to go away. But you will know what, you know, you can basically form your next base on here and just, like, check it out. Like, try it. Like, watch right now what I'm going to do. I, mean, I just want to upgrade this. And, whoa, there you go. It's level 7 wizard tower. How baller is that? So, I mean, you can just take a look at this. And I don't want to keep rambling about this, but you guys can go check it out for yourself. This looks awesome. This looks great. But I want to show you guys what happens when I go back online. So, sadly, none of this is going to be here anymore. So watch. Offline. Go back into the settings. Go on airplane mode. You can literally get hog riders, minions. You can see what they look like. You can train them. You can do whatever you really want to. Uh, I'm going to go into my network now. And we're going to try to connect. Netguard. Okay. And then I'm just going to open up the multitask bar. And I'm going to take out Clash of Clans. Then after that, I'm just going to go right into the app. And I'm going to open it. So... As you're going to see in a second, when the app actually opens and the main screen comes, 
Um, it's going to be kind of unfortunate, and it's going to suck, because everything literally is going to be gone. All the upgrades that I made are going to be gone, you know, that I just made, and um, all my gems are going to be gone. I'm probably just going to have, like, three gems or something, which is really going to suck, as it's going to load right now. Yep. See, I actually still, you know, I lost everything. I don't have this upgraded anymore. I don't have, uh, you know, I have none of my gems anymore. But if I go in here, I can actually still claim the reward. I would have to do the same process over again. But um, it's pretty fun if you can do it, you know, just keep doing it and finding out different things that you can upgrade. Another cool thing is that, you know, you can actually go into the shop after you upgrade your Town Hall Level 9. You can go in the shop and you can, like, add all the extra additions. So you can basically form your base ahead of time to know. Like I said before, you can totally form your base ahead of time. But personally, like, I wish I could hack it. Like, is that close? That close to actually getting it, but not close enough. Because it's on a client server. And as I'll show you in a second, dude, like, look. If I go into here, claim reward. Literally, this is what's going to happen. Second later, error, client and server out of sync. So that's why it doesn't work. But overall, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Sorry that... You know, this is why it's so hard for everybody to hack Clash of Clans. And, um, you know, that's basically it. So if you guys enjoy the video, then please try this way out. It works really well. Jailbreak your device. Check out our other videos. Like the video if you liked it. Favorite and subscribe. Comment in the comment section below. And um, I'll see you guys later. Thank you for watching the video. Peace out.